First time this truck has been this clean in like, I want to say three months. There you go for the haters, my super, super cheap wheels and tires. <laughs> so cheap, so cheap, oh my gosh. Your truck, it looks so cheap. Don't you think this truck looks so cheap, Reagan? What? Doesn't this truck just look so cheap? Yeah. According to the, according to the haters, your setup is so cheap looking. What you got there? Oh my goodness, what did you do? What did you get me into? Nothing, that's what your mom I'm actually, you. I'm actually gonna blame this whole situation on you just so you know. I think they can put two and two together. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm welcome, I guess. So what's the plan, babe? You gotta tell me, what, what's going on? What do they need to know today, like right now, that you are not telling them? Two horses getting dropped off tomorrow. <laughs> She likes horses and she got me on this kick of like just letting her get her horses and oh me goodness. one, I Stop. guess, you know what I'm saying? So she said she was getting a horse. I said, well, if you're getting a horse, I'm getting a nicer horse. I'm like, if you're getting a saddle, then I gotta get a little bit nicer saddle. You know what I'm saying? Like just, we gotta keep it competitive. Isn't that right, babe? Sure. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. I forgot to kind of intro the video, but here we are. We're actually headed to, um, where are we going? We're going to Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply and then maybe a feed store. I don't have a saddle for my horse yet. It's kind of crazy that we just decided like a week ago, like, yo, you want to get some horses? I'm like, sure, bro, let's get horses. So it's going to be pretty cool. Well, we're not going to get horses. They're coming to us, which is really nice. Yeah, actually, they're coming to us. I'm, I'm like, lady, I'm sorry, but like, we can't take an entire day right now because we've got a lot going on. It's like three hours. We can't go three hours there, be up there for an hour or two, then three hours back. I mean, that's like an entire day. I'm like, well, how about this? You seem super trustworthy. She sent us a bunch of videos and pictures and people riding and all the different stuff that they can do. I'm like, you just ship them down to us. And she's like, you know what? How about this? I'll ship them down to you. I'll take down all your information. You pay me for the horses, a deposit. And then if you don't like them within 30 days, you basically have a decision to make in 30 days. Like you either want to keep them or you don't. If you don't want to, then you know, whatever, I'll take them back. But if you want to keep them, rest of the funds are due then. I'm like, sweet. Okay. Sounds good. It's like a, fr it's like a free trial. The cool thing about that is, is because I know there's going to be some people like, oh my gosh, sight unseen. You're just like having them deliver horses. Well guys, she said that we can keep them. And if we don't like them or something's wrong about them or they, they don't suit us well, she'll take them back. That's, that's why we're like, we can't really go wrong. It's not like, oh my gosh, we're stuck with these horses. You know, she's going to drop them off. We got to give her cash and we're just stuck with the horses that we don't know if we want for sure. But like she said, if they don't suit you guys well, take them back. I'll take and them back. She like owns a riding facility and it has a lot of connections with like horse people. So it's not like she's just oh, yeah. going to disappear and she's some sketchy person. Like, yeah, no, uh, she owns a training facility and stuff. Like we're, you know, people go to take yeah. lessons and stuff. And she said that kids ride these horses every day and they're totally fine she's like they're very very well trained horses so that's all good that's all good stuff so we are headed over to the feed store we're gonna look at some more stuff and then we're gonna go back over to my parents possibly are we doing it or not i don't know yeah because we gotta set everything up i don't know we'll figure that out we'll figure that thing out we gotta clean some stuff up back there because it's kind of filthy and i gotta drop off some stuff for my dad let's get on with it so i think malachi didn't realize how much it is <laughs> for all the horse stuff and of course you honked. Uh, hey, I was trying to be courteous. I gave her literally 20 seconds before I honked the horn. I was like, you know what? Maybe she's just smacking a kid in the back seat because there are some people that still believe in that kind of stuff. And then, you know, maybe she just wasn't paying attention. Turns out she was just on her phone. She looks in the mirror like, who do you think you are honking your horn at me? I'm just trying to uh, like some Facebook posts over here. Anyways, so he got a, a saddle pad, reins. He got a bridle with just a generic western bit for now that's what we're gonna go with and then we got two bags of feed we got treats i got a measuring cup basically to make sure that they get the right amount of grain every day it's all good it's fun it's, it's good fun you know it's and then fun. you go to the checkout new. and then it's not so fun oh my goodness what have we done <laughs> what did you create here what did you make of me? Spending a lot of money. <laughs> so we just went to the feed store and bought a saddle. I just bought a saddle. She got a grooming kit. We have to figure out whether or not we're gonna be able to pick up the third gen. They said that it should be done. I'm gonna tell you what all they did to that truck because there was a lot that they did, like a lot, a lot. I'm gonna go through all that stuff, even a few more things that we really weren't planning on, but I'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit. <laughs> You guys want to follow me back here let me show you what we got here to work with as you can tell we've got a little bit of a situation here um, junk everywhere back here this is kind of like the corner where just kind of like throw stuff they as in me 
what we're gonna do is clean this up. Now, some stuff is burnable, some stuff is not, but we're gonna just go through all this, get it all prepped, get it all ready, because we might have to like park a small trailer here with alfalfa on it for when the colder months are coming up here to feed these horses. So we're gonna be prepping this whole area, getting this all ready. Some of this, like I said, is burnable, it's just crap. And some of it just, you know, needs reorganized. So we're gonna get to doing all this right now, but you gotta see it beforehand. I know, it's rough, it's not ideal, but we'll make it happen. Also, after we get this cleaned out, we'll show you the gear we bought. We're gonna do a little pull here from 45. This isn't really like the main point of the video, so I'm not, I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go through and I'm going to tell you what all they did to the truck here. But if you guys wanna see the performance of the truck, if you like that little dose of what you saw there, you wanna see more performance on the truck, there's gonna be some of that in tomorrow's video as well. Got a lot of stuff we're gonna be doing in tomorrow's video. By the way, you could win this truck for five bucks. Literally every $5 gets you two entries to win, and it used to be every $15 got you one. So think about it, literally your entries are $2.50 a piece right now. That is insane, and when we give away trucks, we spend as much money as it freaking takes to make sure that whoever gets this truck is getting a bulletproof monster. I mean, this thing has a stage five transmission, head studs, gauges, it's got injectors, it's got a new turbo, it's got a new second gen manifold, it's got new intake, new charge pipes, it's got, I mean, just new tuning. I mean, everything. It's got so much stuff done. I'm probably forgetting stuff. Yeah, like grill, headlights, taillights, all the jazz. You guys understand. This truck has a lot of money sunk into it. Wheels and tires, everything else. I'm keep forgetting stuff. Anyways, there's a lot of money put into it so that you can take it home. Every $5 is two entries to win and this giveaway ends in literally 48 hours. So if you guys want a chance to win this truck, you have 48 hours left to get entered to win and then this one is gone. And I gotta say, this is probably the most money we have ever put into a truck to give to somebody else and this is just, it's an animal. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video because this thing, it's unreal. Okay, so we got the hood popped but the switch for the new owner yourself uh, watching this, it is up underneath. There's five settings, it's on number four right now. I'm gonna take the key so I don't accidentally somehow lock it in the truck. With my luck, that would happen. We're gonna get this hood popped here. And when you come under the hood of this thing, you can instantly see head studs all along there, all drop down into place. You've got a big filter on there. They did a big filter on there. I don't know if it is factory size or not. I thought he said they were gonna do something a lot bigger but I'm not sure, so I'm not 100% on that. He's got the entire build sheet in there. I can make a copy of that for the winner of the truck. And this turbo setup is wicked now. Like we took this thing down the road, just driving back here from the shop. This thing is just insane. Like it just, it moves so fast. I mean, the truck just looks good under the hood. Everything looks like it was, it was pretty well done. And I'm pretty, satisfied with the way it runs. I mean, it's, it is just nuts. And in terms of the lift pump on this truck, they didn't do your everyday lift pump. Okay. What they actually did was they put an intake setup in there from fleece. And they said that that's a newer thing from fleece. But what he said was he said the fast fuel systems are great. They don't use air dog. They prefer fast. He did say the one thing that he doesn't like about his fast is he has had problems with them occasionally in the winter depending on how cold it gets he said that the filters can get kind of janky they can kind of gel up a little bit and stuff like that and take them a while you know to get working right in the really cold conditions and he said with this supposedly you don't have those issues because it, they don't freeze up down inside the tank so however that works i don't know but he said that they are awesome and this truck pushes like between 20 and 25 psi fuel pressure at all times now going down the road and it's just, it's incredible. Before, I think it was about eight pounds of fuel pressure. And then in terms of the injectors, the injectors on this truck, he said that they were gonna just keep the OEM injectors in the truck. However, he said when they sent them out to the shop to get tested, which is something they do with every truck that comes in, he said, if you're getting performance work, you know, and they're taking the head off and all the stuff and doing lift pumps, he's like, we usually, like if it's an, a lot of work, he's like, we're gonna take the injectors out, send them to the shop, injection shop, get them back the next morning, and they give us a report on how the injectors fired literally one through six what you know the issues were or if they didn't have any how they shot the condition all that stuff he said that all the injectors were fine they were starting to basically put fuel in at kind of like funky rates and sprays and stuff like that just a little bit weird 
and he said that basically they didn't pass like inspection for what their standards are for you know use injectors on a truck like this so he said what they did is they just you know basically sent them back in you know as a core they got me a new set they dropped them in the truck and between that and then they also did the head studs the in-tank fuel setup he said they did rear u-joint on the truck pretty sure that's it i could be missing something tuning of course but i already kind of mentioned that it's a five position switch but anyway so the truck runs awesome sixty five hundred dollars later though like oh my gosh it was it's a lot but i know why i mean it doesn't matter where you go they pro they probably actually cut me a deal he said that they cut me a deal because he's like there was some stuff that we had to do, like, you know, the U-join, the injectors that obviously wasn't on the plans. I mean, a lot of that cost was just parts, you know what I'm saying? Labor, I think, wasn't even hardly over a grand at all. And they did a lot of stuff. They did the in-tank setup for the fuel system. They did the injectors, they did the head studs, they did, did the tuning and all that stuff. But I mean, it runs amazing now. So, I'm gonna go check on what Reagan's working on, though, behind the barn and see how much further she got uh, between when we left it now. Let me be the first to tell you something. All y'all out there that are single and you don't have a woman yet, get you one that can do the chores around the barn. That's what I'm saying. That girl can run a tractor, she can mow, she can work the bucket, she can load and unload all the crap and clean stuff. I mean, I'm just saying, take that into consideration. When you pick that one, you gotta be with it for a long time. I almost forgot to show you, in the horse area over here, we did get the water fixed. I actually, like, right after I shut off the camera yesterday, I pretty much just came over here. I cut the hose down. I got the fitting that was broke off in there, got it out, came up in here. Let me actually show you what happened in here. So this part down in here was broken like that, right? And it was just like up like this, right? All right, so it would have had a constant little leak like that. So push it down, water starts to go. Lift it up, water starts to kick out, and then it shuts off. But the point of that is, um, it still works. When the water level goes down, it fills up. When it goes back up, it shuts off. But I had to put this little screw in here to um, keep that just from popping up, which I know it, it's kind of a hillbilly thing to do, but you know what? It gets the water working and it doesn't overflow and flood out the area in the meantime. Not to mention, the blocks that it was sitting on were no good, so I basically built like a picture frame shape and out of two by six and then I rested that on it and centered it out and stuff and it's gonna do good for now it works gets constant water in here for the horses and we did just clean everything out over there and I also forgot we didn't show them any of the gear that we got can I at least show them my saddle yeah there we go here, Get her on here. check it out that's right new saddle your saddle, you're gonna show me yours or no. Okay, so she's got her saddle, I've got my saddle. Hers is of course smaller, but it works because, well, she's smaller than me, so that works. Um, this is a 16 inch and it should be it should be good. I don't know if this is considered a good brand. It's hand it says it's a handmade by King Series, tough one. Don't know anything about saddles. I don't know what that means. We got it pre-owned for 225. They were asking 300. Hers was a gift from my mother um, from a horse that we used to have. It's been a while now, but Anyway, so we got that, got the saddle, blanket, all that stuff. Got her some pellets, grain. And what is it? It's a Purina Enrich. They don't take very much of that, just a little bit every day. It's kind of a supplemental thing, I don't know. There's some of our new stuff. And you're gonna have to wait until the next video to see the actual horses. The true pony power, right? True, actual horsepower, literally horses. But anyway, so now on to my next clip. There's a spider. Where? In the middle! Oh, ain't that big. Little poor shit. Look at that little guy. Look, he's just a little teeny okay, tiny. Oh, I got an idea, I got an idea. Here. Oh gosh. You ready? This is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Oh, okay. Okay, you're gonna get it. Oh my gosh, it's running. That wasn't a good idea. I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> nope, that's a bad idea, just throwing the flyer over there. Reagan, what's the update? Well, we know that. That's obvious. That's a given. I mean, we're getting somewhere, but... Yeah, we are getting somewhere. There's a lot of this cleaning out. There's freaking coon crap everywhere because we had some Amish guys that we let set our horses here. Well, they had a tub of grain here with a tarp over it. Tarps don't stop raccoons, and so they come back here and they would just feast in that tub of grain. What are you... What are you... What are you what's, what's the deal? Okay. 
You know, those liners, we should probably keep those because those are nasty reds wheel well liners. Well, we should probably good. not burn those. The thing is, we're pretty much burning everything. Disclaimer, do not do that at home. And we got to get rid of stuff. We don't know where else to put it. So we're just getting rid of it. Anyway, so we're going to keep cleaning this out. But this is the update for now. You guys, cold, you. yeah, there, there's a lot. Look at that. Look at that. Anyways, there's a lot more to still do. But I just want to let you guys know that this is where we're stopping the video for today. However, I just do want to go by here one more time. Yes, you can see the fire back there. And the whole back side of that fire pit is actually a huge ditch that runs through with a bunch of water in it. But anyway, so in terms of this truck, last 48 hours to enter to win it. So if you want it, you better get in now. Every $5, two entries to win, and that truck could be in your driveway, literally in hardly over a week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. Peace.